Each week in the U.S., almost 70,000 babies are born premature, and that means the baby was born before 37 weeks, full term is 40 weeks. Many times these babies face breathing and eating problems. But what happens if the baby is born at just 23 weeks, almost half of what is considered a healthy pregnancy? As Marty Salt shows us now, science, technology, and some pretty amazing doctors are saving lives earlier than ever before. Little Harper Jacobo has come a long way. She and her twin sister, Gabriella, were born prematurely at just 23 weeks, weighing less than a third of a pound. They fit in the palms of my hand. They were very, very tiny. I mean, very small. While both girls were small, it was Harper who was given just a 1% chance of survival when she was born. So by all means, really shouldn't have even survived delivery. But that wasn't the only obstacle little Harper faced. The two ends of her esophagus were separated by quite a bit, so basically mean that she could not swallow whatsoever. The two ends separated by seven centimeters. That's about that long in a baby who's about this big. So it's, it's quite a gap. Pediatric surgeon Steven Rothenberg led a team at Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children performing three life-saving surgeries on Harper. The first one, stretching the two ends to try to bring them together. We got the two ends almost together, but there was still about maybe a, a one-inch gap between the, the two ends. Then he took part of Harper's chest wall to create a Band-Aid between the two ends, closing the gap to a half an inch. Then he used magnets to finally bring the ends together. We put one magnet down her mouth and into the upper part of her esophagus. And we put the other magnet through her gastrostomy tubes. What happened over the next few days is the magnets gradually attracted each other. Closing the gap, making Harper the smallest baby ever to survive a separated esophagus. Marty Salt, 16 News Now. Now the magnets were eventually removed by pulling them up through Harper's mouth and no additional surgery was required. And although she's delayed, doctors believe Harper will be able to grow up and eat and swallow like any other child. We'll be right back after the break.